With our Nexus 6P no longer getting any more major upgrades, just like the ones from Marshmallow to Nougat, and one from Nougat to Oreo, we won't be getting Android Pie officially. Well, this is where the many talented developers step in to bring us common folk a taste of the latest and greatest version of Android. Today, I'd like to show off the Pixel Experience ROM for the Nexus 6P, but that doesn't mean that they won't have a build for your device. Check out download.pixelexperience.org to see if your device is supported. That being said, I would say that whatever you see here for the Nexus 6P will most likely be the same for all the other devices supported by the Pixel Experience team, since their goal is to bring the Google Pixel Experience to the masses as a stable, secure, and functioning ROM. Now compared with the other Android Pie based ROMs for the Nexus 6P, this one has been the most stable in my own experience, and of course closest to the true Pixel experience. There are no user facing tweaks in this ROM, so you're going to have for the most of it, if not an identical feature set to the Google Pixel on your Nexus 6P. So that means we can enable call screening via the dialer phenotype flags editing that was discussed a while back, which is great. There's also this battery manager, which I suppose is some kind of alternative to the adapted battery found on the Pixels. It also has digital well-being installed already, so you can continue your quest for good health. And it even has a new live wallpapers from the Pixel 3 lineup ready for your choosing. This ROM comes with Google Apps pre-installed. So if you're looking for a Lineage OS alternative or just a ROM without Google services on it, you're going to want to have a look at a different ROM. Now you can root this ROM using Magisk as usual. And as for installing custom kernels, I would probably recommend against doing so since there aren't any, or Google hasn't officially released Android Pie for the 6P. And I don't see any other kernel developers making one for the 6P that is specifically developed for Android Pie. So you'd probably want to stick with the ROM's built-in kernel for now. One standout feature of this ROM would be that it has an OTA update mechanism built right into it. The first time I was notified of an update to the Pixel Experience ROM got me good. The Pixel Experience does not offer Delta OTA updates, so you will be downloading the whole ROM every time there is an update. So for me personally, I would just rather hop onto my PC and download the latest version of the Pixel Experience ROM every time I got a notification for a new update on my phone. Now it's down to performance. We'll have to consider that the Nexus 6P has the Snapdragon 810, a warm CPU, if not a broken one for some people. I would say that the performance for general tasks involving the UI and in non-intensive apps is pretty good, maybe on par with stock Oreo. There are some stutters here and there, but they don't really irk me too badly. So scrolling through Reddit, browsing the web, and watching YouTube videos on this thing is just fine. The camera on this is still the same to me. It's always been a good shooter since using it in late 2015. So here are the benchmark results from Geekbench 4 Pro. It obtained a single core score of 1370 and a multi-core score of 3000. It seemed to do a little bit better than the average Nexus 6P out there, but in both cases it only surpassed the average by approximately 100 points. As for compute results, the Nexus 6P scored 4697, which is just about 400 points higher than the average 6P. So you could say that it performs quite similarly to the other 6Ps out there. This might not mean too much to you, and it certainly doesn't mean too much to me either. So it all depends on real world performance in my case, things like actually watching YouTube videos or doing the things that I would normally do on my, you can call daily driver. And I'll have to skip battery life on this one too, since I don't use it as a daily driver anymore. And because I haven't replaced my battery yet, and it kind of still turns off at around 15%. But I'll let you know that the overnight kind of dozing that it does managed to hold out quite well. So I just had Wi-Fi on, no SIM card in it, but the airplane mode was not turned on. And I would venture to say that the battery experience would be quite similar to what you're having right now. It might be better due to the battery optimizations in Android Pie, but you should definitely check out the ROM firsthand instead, and for a couple of days just to see how the battery fares out for yourself. So all in all, if you're looking for a ROM that has frequent updates, is quite stable, and has all your device's functions working, along with that dank pixel experience, you should give this ROM a spin. Without a doubt, in my mind, it's probably one of the best ROMs out there for Android Pie as of this moment. I will say that the installation of this ROM and a couple of the other Android Pie based ROMs will require you to wipe your device due to them using a different data encryption method so just keep that in mind before you install one of these ROMs. And as always, if you actually want an installation guide, I'll be more than happy to provide a video on that 
as well. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions or comments that you want to leave, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Or even better yet, join us over on Discord. A link to that is also in the more info. So I hope to see you there. And as always, happy flashing.